The National Junior College of Athletic Association is in Region 15 and Queensboro. Promote good sportsmanship by team athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request the cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed to officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated in our grounds from the removal of the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Nassau Community College Lions. Sophomore, number four, Darren Dove. Freshman, number 23, Jamal Stanley. Sophomore, number 24, Corey Alexander. Sophomore, number 31, Krishan McCaskill. Sophomore, number 44, Corey Patches. The assistant coach of the Lions, George Moore the second, Ben Chonan, and the head coach is A.J. Winder. And now you're starting right up. You're very well with Queensboro, Green Donald Stiger. Then to Pacific High School, number three, Chris Aubrey. From Methodist High School, number 22, Christopher Brown. From Redwood High School, number 23, O.J. From Queens High School Teaching, number one, This is QCC alum David Russell. The 0-3 Tigers are about to play their first home game against Nassau Community College in their first game of the year. Last year, Nassau took both meetings. They scored 96 points apiece. The starting five for Nassau, Darren Dove, Corey Alexander, Jamal Stanley, Cuisine McCaskill, and Candy Cassins. For Queensboro, the starting five, Chris Aubrey, Chris Brown, Theophilo uh, Ojugbali, Troy Singleton, and Joseph Turner. Queensboro coming off a 29-point loss at Bronx Community College. And this is the first game of the Robert Holford era. Holford won a national championship at Hostos Community College. And there he is giving advice before the opening tip. It's never too early to start coaching. The two 23s, Ojugbali and Stanley, will jump at midcourt. One of the refs is at the scorer's table. That problem gets squared away. And Queensboro about to take on Nassau. <laughs> and now the ref talks to Robert Holford. They did. They want to know. They said they don't know where he is. Where he is. Where he is. I thought Danielle working out. The coach was in. We said we fine. And now the coaching staff will go to the scores table. Might be an issue with the roster, considering there's a whole army of Tigers this year. And now we're about to begin. Tigers against the Lions. And now we'll wait a little longer. And now we begin. Nassau wins the opening tip. Darren Dove with it. Nassau coached by A.J. Winder. 
the former Boston Celtic. They finished fourth in Region 15 last year. Dove. A nice passing. And a foul on Cassius. Excuse me, not on Cassius. Cassius was fouled shooting for Nassau. The foul was on Chris Brown, his first. First of the game. And Cassius is at the line for two shots. Misses the first. Queensboro has to make sure to box out. They've had trouble with rebounding over the first three games. Missed both free throws and Ojugbele pulls down the rebound. Chris Aubrey handling the point guard duties. And OJ for three. It's a long two and he misses. Rebounded by Turner. Aubrey. And they didn't see Brown who was asking for it. Aubrey gets it to Brown. Pass was tipped and Dove has it for Nassau. And he loses it. Tiger ball. Ojugbele made the play. Carl Benjamin with it. Aubrey with the crossover. Ojugbele couldn't handle it. Darren Dove, pull up jumper. Too strong. And the Tigers have it now. Chris Aubrey, three on two. Turner misses. Nassau back the other way. And it's slowed down wisely by Jamal Stanley, who saw a bunch of white shirts ahead of him. Dove. Defense chance starts up. Darren Dove, 12 on the shot clock. Dove. Down to five. Four, he's gonna have to make a move. Puts up a three. No good. And the rebound is pulled down by Chris Brown. And Carl Benjamin misses a three. OJ couldn't save it in. Now they say he did save it in. It's Tiger Ball. Two minutes in, scoreless. Nice pass underneath. OJ puts it in. Two nothing Tigers. And Darren Dove puts up a three and it's good. Darren Dove gives Nassau their first lead of the game 3-2. It should also be mentioned, mentioned that Carl Benjamin is not playing. A correction that I need to make. It was Troy Singleton who's wearing number two. OJ, no basket, traveling is called. Ed Sulford doesn't like it. Darren Dove. Queensboro and Dove puts up a three and hits another one. Darren Dove with back-to-back -back threes. Nassau leads 6-2. Queensboro was running a lot of matchup zone against Bronx the other day. They ran in the first half and now that will go out of bounds. Ball stays with QCC. As the sub goes in. Number 15, Dwayne Birdie Jr. Dwayne Birdie Jr. is in for Chris Aubrey for Queensboro. Holford calls out the play. It's Troy Singleton with it, and a foul is called. Reach in on McCaskill, his first. First on Nassau. Turner with it, and Turner loses it out of bounds. Turner had his man beaten, then he tried to step back and lost it out of bounds. 
So I was going to say before, Queensboro ran a lot of matchup zone against Bronx. And that jumper is short. Rebound McCaskill. Cassius, Dove, is double teamed, gets, gets out of it and makes a nice pass. The shot is no good by McCaskill and Queensboro comes away with it. Singleton up ahead to Turner and Turner lays it in. Joseph Turner makes it 6-4 Nassau. Darren Dove. Cassius to McCaskill. Stanley makes his move. And a charge is called. Chris Brown doing the dirty work and picking up the charge. Troy Singleton. McCaskill is guarding him. And Singleton to OJ. OJ inside. And the left handed layup ties the game at six. Timeout, Nassau. Timeout, Nassau. And AJ Weiner calls timeout. And you may notice a new assistant coach in his suit and an orange tie, Ben Chobapond, Queensboro alum. Better known as Benny Buckets, new addition to the Lion staff. Four minutes, 23 seconds in, game tied at six. Queensboro's fourth game of the year. They went up to Mohawk Valley for the tournament. They lost the opener to Mohawk Valley Community College 94-51. Then they lost to Jefferson 53-52 in a heartbreaker. They came back, lost to Bronx at Bronx 88-59. And we'll see what the Lions run out of the timeout. Darren Dove. Quarterbacking the offense, Alexander. Nice play out of the timeout. Jamal Stanley with his first points of the game. It's 8-6 Nassau. The first points not scored by Darren Dove for the Lions. Troy Singleton. Gets it to Bridey, to Turner. Turner goes baseline and loses it. Nassau with numbers and it's kicked out of bounds. Lion ball. Coach Winder calls out the play. Dove inbounding. McCaskill is called for traveling. Chris Brown came at him with his arms up and McCaskill tried to drive by him what was called for too many steps. Good action early on in the Tigers' home opener. Game number four. Overall, Singleton to Turner. Out of bounds, but QCC will keep it. Ojugbele will inbound in front of the Nassau bench. And Singleton and an offensive foul is called. Holford sends in a sub. It's Nolan Emery checking in at the table. Stepping in, number 30, Nolan Emery. Nolan Emery in for Dwayne Bridey, who gets a lesson on the finer points of basketball from Coach Holford. Stanley to McCaskill, Dove. Cassius almost lost it, out of bounds. It will stay with Nassau. 22 on the shot clock. Stanley inbounding, Dove with it. And that three-pointer is no good. 
Alexander miss. And the Tigers have the ball now. Corey Alexander had a pretty decent look at a three, couldn't hit it. Troy Singleton, McCaskill right on him. Chris Brown with some help, and a foul is called on Cassius. Hate to see that if you're Nassau, a foul so far away from the basket. Third team foul on Nassau. First on number 44, Cassius. OJ gets it to Singleton. Singleton, kick out to Emery. And I don't know who that was intended for. Nassau ball. Pull up jumper by McCaskill is good. And a 10-6 lead for Nassau. And Corey Alexander with some full court pressure. Full court man, really. Joseph Turner with it now. Singleton puts up a three, it's short. Nassau pushing it, McCaskill. Kick out to Dove, nice pass, Dove for three. Gets a friendly roll. Darren Dove with his third three-pointer. 13-6 Nassau, OJ underneath is blocked. Out of bounds, it'll stay with QCC. Four subs go in for QCC. Coming in, number 25. Jordan Chateau. Number 25, Jordan Chateau is in for QCC. Is Holford with the word for the guys he subbed out? That's a good thing about having a deep bench. A guy makes a mistake and he could come out and Holford could teach him. Chateau. Turner with it. Bridey back to Turner. 15 on the shot clock. And a wild shot is no good. Chateau almost had it back and lost it. Ball to Nassau. As Chris Aubrey is in for QCC now. Darren Dove, guarded by Chateau. And Darius, Darius is fouled on the floor. Darius Rhodes, who just came into the game. That's his second foul on Chris Brown. Chris Brown will go out at the next whistle. Keep him out further. Foul troubles, that's missed, but it's rebounded offensively by Nassau. Darren Dove giving out directions. McCaskill with it. Dove. And McCaskill. Pass was a little too long for Cassius. OJ in for Chris Brown now. Nolan Emery inbounding. Nassau puts on a full court press. Chris Aubrey gets across half court. Nice bounce pass. Brighty for three. No good. It's rebounded by Shamsuldin. And Shamsuldin with it now to Dove, who puts up a long two. That's no good. I guess it was too short for him. He's already made three threes. Brighty, pull up jumper is no good. Rebounded by Nassau. McCaskill to Shamsuldin. Dove blows past some defenders, but he was out of bounds. Maybe that's why it made it look so easy. Ball back to QCC. Emery gets it to Aubrey. And that pass is thrown out of bounds. Miscommunication between Aubrey and Bridie. Whole 
Alford is lecturing Aubrey, so you know who he thinks is responsible for the turnover. Champ sold in to Dove. 11 and a half minutes to go in the first. In the post, and a foul is called on Chateau while Cassius was trying to pass. Four team fouls on Queensboro. Dove, pass intended for Rhodes, is turned over and then Rhodes commits a foul. Emery inbounding. Chris Aubrey is guarded by Champs Holden. Chateau is stripped by Dove. Numbers, Rhodes. And Rhodes is called for the charge. Nolan Emery picking up the charge. He's in Coach Holford's good books. Queensborough's been up and down defensively, giving up 94 to Mohawk, 88 to Bronx, but they had a stellar game holding Jefferson to 53 points on 28% shooting, two for 16 from threes. Chris Aubrey, they also have to make sure not to foul. Jefferson took 43 free throws in that game compared to about 15 for Queensborough. And Shamsledon is called for the foul on Aubrey. OJ, guarded by Reggie Dennis. De Dennis tried to take away a passing lane. Chris Aubrey, Shamsledon right up on him. OJ is called for traveling. And Chris Brown will go into the game for OJ. And if you're NASA, I think you would have to attack Chris Brown. Two fouls on Brown. A bit of a gamble by Holford, I guess, but when you have a deep bench, you can afford it. And if he picks up a third foul, he would go right out, I'm sure. That three-pointer is no good. And Chris Brown can't hit off glass. It's been several minutes since QCC scored. Tip back, no good. Dwayne Brighty pushing it. Brighty, jumper is good. Dwayne Brighty with his first points of the game. It's 13 8 Nassau, 10 minutes in. Good defensive battle. Dwayne Brighty played his high school ball down in Virginia. Nice passing, and that jumper is no good by Cassius. Nolan Emery pushing it. Aubrey. Bounce pass to Brown, thought about it. And Brown's floater is good. Nice touch by Chris Brown, it's 13-10. Four different Tigers have scored the 10 points. OJ leads with four. Darren Dove to Shamsledon. Dove hit three three-pointers early, nothing since. Look at that. And traveling is called. UCC with the chance to cut it to one or even tie the game. Number four, Teron Vaughn. Teron Vaughn is in for QCC, out for Chris Brown. Teron Vaughn played sparingly last season. This will be his last year playing for the Tigers. Aubrey. 
Aubrey dribbling a lot, and it works. Nice left-handed layup by Chris Aubrey. It's 13-12, six unanswered points for the Tigers. Darren Dove, Chris Aubrey playing off him. Shamsled into Dove. And Dove takes a contested jumper, it's off. QCC ball, chance to take the lead. Dwayne Brighty with it. Teron Vaughn makes his move, and the floater is good. Teron Vaughn gives QCC a 14-13 lead. Timeout, Nassau. First timeout, Nassau Community College. 8.16 to go in the first half. 14, Nassau, 13. Six different QCC players have scored. As the mascot makes an appearance. Crowd is livelier than it's been in some time. Does the mugging for the camera. As you see the Nassau huddle. A.J. Winder sees it's a different Queensboro team this year. Last year in their first meeting, Nassau won 96-61. Chris Malden had 15 points, Quentin Tate had 14. And then they came in here last year. Nassau won 96-68. Joshua Rosa had 30 points, seven rebounds, eight assists, and five steals. And you may remember that last year's Nassau-Queensboro meeting in Bayside, Gamal Steele was the head coach, or handled the head coaching duties for one night. Larry Dantzler was not feeling well and couldn't make the game. Queensboro was up in that game 29-28, and then Nassau went on a 14-2 run to go into halftime. And Queensboro would never lead in the second half. They lead right now 14-13, but Nassau's trying to take back the lead. Nassau runs nice plays out of the timeout. That was a pretty good look, but couldn't hit. And Queensboro will have the ball. QCC looking to extend the lead. The five on the court for Queensboro, Bridie, Vaughn, Aubrey, Chateau, and Emery. Slight delay to clean the court. Holford calling out the play. Still wiping off the wet spot on the court. right by where Emery is going to inbound. <laughs> and Nassau in the full court press. And a turnover. Cassius couldn't hit and the tip in is no good either. Aubrey to Vaughn, and Vaughn is called for traveling. Two turnovers in about 10 seconds for the Tigers, and Emery, who threw that inbounds pass, is subbed out. <laughs> Darren Dove with it, guarded by Teron Vaughn. Stanley to Dunkley to Dove. Nice pass, Stanley. 
No basket, foul on the court before the shot. That's team foul number five on the Tigers. Foul is on Ojugbui. And OJ is guarding the inbound from McCaskill. Swinging the ball around. Dove had his shot altered by Chateau. And underneath, Nassau can hit. Chateau is pressured. OJ gets it to Aubrey. And Aubrey, some speed. And he will go to the line for two. Two shot foul, the second foul on Cassius. As Holford will talk to his team while Aubrey is shooting free throws. First free throw, very deliberate. Misses the first. A slight medical issue. Aubrey has a cut, so it's going to work as a free timeout for the coaches. Aubrey will go to the trainer behind the Nassau bench. To Nassau trainer as opposed to a usual one. It's a service from professional orthopedic uh, medical building from around here. And they make their schedules from before the season. And originally this game was supposed to be at Queensboro. Then it was moved to Nassau as the second free throw. It's taken by Troy Singleton and it's good. And QCC leads 15-13. Then it was going to be played at Nassau, and then with Hurricane Sandy, Nassau took a hit. So they, they're going to play at Nassau January 29th. Tonight is right here in Bayside. Nassau looking to tie or take the lead. McCaskill gets it to Dunkley. Back to McCaskill. That's to tie the game, and it's good. Uwangu makes it 15-15. And Stanley got a hand on that pass out of bounds. QCC will keep it. OJ inbounding. Chateau asking for it, they got it to him. And Singleton almost had to go through his hands. And the blocking foul is called. Troy Singleton will be taking his free throws. Looking to give QCC back the lead. Know where you are, know where that shooter is. Talk. It's the first, 16-15. Front end of a one and one. Now seven Tigers have scored. Hits both at 17-15. Singleton with three points, all on free throws. Darren Dove. McCaskill, nice bounce pass, but it's stolen. Troy Singleton. Three-pointer is good. Dwayne Brighty from downtown. 2015, Queensboro.
Can they answer back? No, rebounded by Chateau. OJ pushing it. And OJ is blocked but fouled by Stanley, who can't believe it. Good aggressive play by OJ. First free throw is good. OJ with five points. 21-15 QCC. OJ looking to hit both. No good, and OJ knew it right away. And he gets the rebound and puts it back. 23-15. OJ got the jump on the Lions. And he timed it just right because the shooter has to wait before it hits the rim. And Nassau will keep it. Good defensive energy by the Tigers. Alexander inbounding to Dove. Teron Vaughn is on him. And a steal, righty. And he turns it over. That would have put Queensborough up by double digits. But Queensborough actually will keep it. It was tipped, my mistake. Correction, Queensborough ball. Vaughn to Singleton. OJ. And OJ is called for a charge. Five thirty-two in the first half remaining. Twenty-three fifteen, Queensboro. Chuck Sabunse getting ready to go in for QCC. Dove, and the foul is called. Chuck Sabunse is now in. For OJ. Darren Dove at the line for one and one. Hits the first. That's 10 points for Darren Dove. 10 of the 16 for Nassau. Dove looking to hit them both. Can't. Chateau with it. Singleton. Lost it's regained by the Tigers. Abunte couldn't hit. Now the Lions push. Dove makes a nice move and a nice pass down low. Abunte is called for the foul. Uwangu will go to the line. Abunte came close to blocking the shot cleanly. Instead, he's called for the foul. Two-shot foul. First is no good. Tigers getting ready for the rebound. Doesn't matter, the free throw's good. 23-17. Singleton, five minutes to go in the first half. Singleton from way downtown. No good, but Teron Vaughn is with it. And Vaughn is fouled. Teron Vaughn will go to the line for two shots. Holford didn't like that shot by Troy Singleton, which was taken all the way from Nassau. Wants to get other guys involved. Vaughn's first free throw is good. 
24-17. Vaughn hits both. You have 10 seconds to take a free throw and these Queensboro Tigers are taking about nine. Nassau ball, Darren Dove with it. That three-pointer is no good by Alexander, but an offensive rebound. McCaskill's jumper is good. Second chance points helping the Lions, it's 25-19. Singleton gets it to Vaughn. Vaughn looks to make his move. And he hoists up a three, and it rims out. Nassau ball. Queensboro should look to get it inside more. That's two very long threes. And a charge is called. Foul is on Kamal Dunkley, his second. Oh, he's smart, man. Singleton. Kick out to Vaughn, who stepped out of bounds. He may have been out of bounds when he caught the pass. 3.56 to go, Nassau ball down by six. McCaskill, long two is off, rebounded by Singleton. And Singleton up ahead to Vaughn, who puts up a long three and misses. Terrible shot selection. And Holford takes him out. It's Queensboro ball. Nolan Emery with it. And traveling is called on Dwayne Bridey. Shamsledon gets past Chateau. McCaskill, bounce pass to Dove, bounce pass back to McCaskill, gets inside, and he is fouled in the act of shooting. Foul is on Chuck Sabunse, his second. Two shots coming up for McCaskill. Hits the first. 25-20, Queensboro. McCaskill hits both. 25-21. Joseph Turner is in for Queensboro. Chuck Sabunse going out for the Tigers. Nolan Emery is inbounding. Singleton. Holford calling out the play. Gets a screen. Singleton almost lost it. Down to 16 on the shot clock. Emery. Bear get closer than where he was, and he loses it to McCaskill. Shamsledon to Dove, and Dove puts it in off glass. Dove has a dozen points, it's 25-23. Singleton counted in the foul. Troy Singleton, 27-23.
And Singleton will look to finish the conventional three-point play. 32, make it 32, no late. 32. Nassau looking to make a push with 2.34 to go in the first half. Singleton misses, it's 27-23. Queensboro in his own defense. Chamsledin guarded by Turner. Very aggressively so. Dove with it. Chamsledin. To Alexander. Gets it to McCaskill. To Chamsledin. Dove. Good passing, but it's all on the perimeter. Not really getting inside. And they settle for a three pointer from Alexander, and it's good. Corey Alexander with his first points of the game. It's 27 26. And that three-pointer is an air ball from Brighty. Nassau can take the lead. Chateau got a hand on it. Darren Dove. Shamseldon to Alexander. Shamseldon down low. Tough angle shot, tip back is no good. Nolan Emery with it, doubled. Gets out of it, Chateau. Up ahead to Brighty. And Brighty puts it in. 29-26 QCC. Defense chance starts up on the Tiger bench. Shamsledin. Pass inside is turned over. And Brighty wasn't expecting it. Bad pass by Emery. Shamsledin cannot tie the game. Duff couldn't put it in. Joseph Turner being told to attack. Numbers for Queensboro. Turner couldn't hit the tough angle layup. Now Nassau back the other way. Shamsledin. And a blocking foul is called on the Tigers with 49 seconds to go in the first half. It's on Troy Singleton. Shamsledin will go to the line for two. Looking for his first points of the night. Still looking. Coming in for the first time, number 20, Eric Lee. Derek Light is in. Champsildon splits the free throws, it's 29-27. Singleton. About 13 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Turner almost lost it. Nice bounce pass and light shot is sent away. Uwangu was having none of that. 30 and a half seconds to go. 17 on the shot clock. Have to get it in in five seconds, and he threw it off Shamsledin. Holford making a quick sub. Teron Vaughn in for Bridie. And it's Holford not happy with Bridie. Singleton gets it to Vaughn. Back to Singleton. And traveling is called. They almost ran into each other. It was an ugly exchange. It's like a broken play in football when the quarterback runs right into the running back. 26 and 3, 10 seconds remaining in the first. Nassau can hold for the final shot if they choose. And they can tie or take the lead on this final possession of the half. Inside and Chateau with the block. The whole bench loves it. Sixteen and nine, ten seconds remaining. Shamsled in inbounding. Alexander misses a three. Teron Vaughn with it. 12, 11, 10. Vaughn pushes. Kick out. Three pointer. Got it. The three pointer from Troy Singleton is good. 32 27. 
and it's good. Chamseldon beats the buzzer, 32-30 at halftime. Team straight three set in the half. At halftime, Queensboro leads Nassau, 32-30. Second half about to begin. Queensboro leading Nassau 32-30. Wild first half, probably better than anybody expected. I think I could take out probably. It was better than anybody expected. Troy Singleton led Queensboro with eight points. Dwayne Brighty and OJ had seven apiece. Darren Dove had a dozen for Nassau. As it says, we're ready to begin. Nassau is just now making their way back on the court. And there's a team led by A.J. Winder, the former Boston Celtic, who played with Hall of Famers Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, and Kevin McHale. Queensboro's going to practice layups. Queensboro gets a little extra practice in. The first home game of the Robert Holford era at Queensboro. Taking over for Larry Dantzler after three years. Dantzler was relieved of his duties. And Holford, a long, time of a long time friend of athletic director Pete Marchitello, was called in to fill the void. Yo! Holford won a national championship with the Hostos Caymans. He was the first ever coach of Hostos. And to win a national championship in the third year of the program was one heck of a job. He's been in a lot of places, Providence as an assistant, Fairly Dickinson under the great Tom Green. He's been an assistant at Cardozo under the legendary Ron DeClario. He has a lot of New York connections. Coach at Medgar Evers. Very well-traveled coach. And now he looks to bring his winning ways to Queensboro. And Holford has also surrounded himself with an excellent cast. Right now, Damien Broadwater is still here from after all these years. There's Stephen Jones, Dave Van Diver, Cedric Pitts, Herman Crump. The list goes on. As Holford talks to his team now. See if Nassau tries some full court press in the second half. How about assistant coach Ben Chobapon to round the press to perfection at Forest Hills High School? Queensboro ball to begin the second half. Chris Aubrey. 
Turner gets Singleton in the corner. It's good. Troy Singleton picks up where he left off. 35-30, Queensboro. Darren Dove. Stanley to Alexander. McCaskill. Nice pass inside, Alexander. It'll stay with Nassau. Dove inbounding. Almost five seconds. Cassius gets it back to Dove. And Dove throws up a wild one which hit the shot clock. Ball back to QCC. It'll say with Nassau, they say it, it went off the shot clock on a deflection from Queensboro. Nassau ball with 15 on the shot clock. Cassius is doubled. Ojugbele and Brown are all over him. McCaskill, nice bounce pass inside. And Stanley couldn't hit. And Singleton has it for QCC. Singleton being told to push it. Joseph Turner is called for a charge. Thirty-five, thirty. One minute into the second half. Max, can you gotta stay? Back up. Jump in the air. Stay. Darren Dove with it. Gets it to Alexander. Stanley is called for traveling. Ball back to QCC. Chris Aubrey with it. Aubrey looking, gets it to Singleton. Turner back out to Singleton. Aubrey to OJ, they're down to 14 on the shot clock. Pass was tipped. Singleton down to 10, nine. Singleton guarded by Dove. Chris Brown, nice pass to Aubrey. And Aubrey puts it in off glass. 37-30. Great vision by Chris Brown. Brown to Aubrey for the deuce. Seven point lead for the Tigers. Alexander to Dove. Dove to Stanley. Stanley, shot was tipped. Aubrey, McCaskill with great transition defense. Queensboro had the three on one. Outside three pointer is good. Darren Dove, again from downtown. He has 15 points. 37-33, ball back to Nassau. He stepped on the line. Big momentum play. Maybe Queensborough hits a layup, goes up by nine. And so now it's a four point game and Nassau has the ball. Alexander. Tie-up is called. Nice job by Chris Aubrey. Possession arrow will keep it with Nassau. McCaskill, long two, is too strong. And a foul is called against Nassau. Their first foul of the second half. That's the third foul on Cassius. Aubrey. Aubrey is guarded by Darren Dove. 
And that left-hander is tough. Stanley with it for the Lions. Alexander. And Alexander loses it out of bounds. DJ, DJ, stop, 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 stop. You gotta yell stop up who you want, who you want for? Dwayne Brighty is in. Chris, let's go! And Chris Aubrey will go out. OJ inbounding to Troy Singleton. You gotta go, man. You gotta score. Otherwise, don't shoot the goddamn ball. Singleton, nice pass, Turner, to Brown, inside, and Brown will go to the line for two. Miss Holford gives him a word before he shoots his free throws. Good half-court defense in the first three minutes for Queensboro. They've given up one three-pointer, which was after the McCaskill steal and three of the Tigers were still behind. A transition jumper. Brown's first free throw is too strong. And number 33, Darius Rhodes goes in for the Lions. Brown splits the free throws, it's 38-33. Dove to Alexander. Rhodes. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Nassau. Nice defense by Troy Singleton. Corey Alexander. And a foul against Nassau. Pushed off. That's number three on Darius Rhodes. Coach Holford calls out the play. Singleton. Bridey. Jumper is good. Dwayne Brighty with the nice touch, it's 40-33. And A.J. Winder calls a full timeout. By Nassau Community College. The score is Queensboro, 40. Queensboro scores eight of the first 11 points in the second half. They lead 40-33. Darren Dove leads all scorers with 15 points. Troy Singleton leads Queensboro with 11. See if Nassau runs a back door or pick and roll play out of the timeout. Something that could get a good shot. Some teams get impatient. They start jacking up threes when their backs are up against the wall. I don't think that'll be a problem with an A.J. Winder team, though. <laughs> Nassau still in the huddle. Queensboro all ready to go out on the court. Dove, and a half court trap, and traveling is called. Savvy by Robert Holford. A half court trap coming out of the timeout. And Nassau wasn't prepared for it. And now we'll see how the chess match on the sidelines plays out over the last 16 minutes. Turner to Bridey. Out of bounds, it'll stay with QCC. Dove couldn't save it in, and he got no help from the opposing bench. Yeah. 
Bridey will inbound with Dove guarding him. Gets it in to Chris Brown, who's guarded by Rhodes. Turner guarded by Alexander. Turner. And a blocking foul is called on Rhodes. That's number four on him. That's four on Rhodes. First free throw is nice, 41-33. One more foul on Darius Rhodes and he's done for the game. Hands high, get the ball first. High arcing free throw is good, 42-33. Dove, half court trap again. Rhodes, underneath, and the basket is good from Jamal Stanley. 42-35, Turner, pull up jumper, no good. Put back by Chris Brown, 44-35. McCaskill to mixing up the defenses. Rhodes, McCaskill from way downtown. No good. Out of bounds. Ball to QCC. 15.09 remaining. Singleton. Singleton attacks the basket and he's fouled. And that's the fifth team foul on Nassau in five minutes and five seconds. The second personal foul on McCaskill. Two shot foul for Troy Singleton. DJ rebound, don't freak out, rebound. First free throw is off. Second free throw is good. Double digit lead, 45-35. Darren Dove. Alexander. Alex Rhodes is fouled. Darius Rhodes will take two free throws. As Holford calls over some Tigers. That was the third foul on Ojugbali. Darius Rhodes is looking for his first points of the game. He has his first, it's 45-36. Chateau is in for Ojugbali. Second free throw is short, rebounded by Chateau. Singleton. Singleton is guarded by Alexander. And now Rhodes is on him. Rhodes who has four fouls. Turner, nice pass inside to Chateau. Tie up is called. Ball stays with QCC. Now the possession arrow will go back over to Nassau. Queensboro ball with 16 on the shot clock. Singleton.
Gets it to Brown. Brown guarded by Stanley. And that dangerous pass is turned over. Stanley loses it. It went off Dwayne Bridey last, so it'll stay with Nassau. And Robert Holford doesn't uh, like jump passes. It's not something he teaches. Dove puts up a three, misses. Loose ball, Nassau comes up with it. And Darius Rhodes with the dunk. 45-38. Queensboro still up. Troy Singleton. Singleton, nice move, couldn't hit. Rebounded by McCaskill. McCaskill underneath and it's turned over. The pass was intended for Jamal Stanley. QCC ball with 13.35 to go up by seven. Singleton, Alexander is guarding him. Singleton, they're down to 20 on the shot clock. Long jumper is an air ball. And Troy Singleton will be going out of the game at the next whistle. Stanley, nice moves. 45-40 and time out Queensboro. With 13.07 to go. Nassau's pumped up and I like the timeout by Robert Wolfe. Very good time, the momentum was slipping away. Make sure they recapture their energy. <laughs> Queensboro should focus on attacking the basket more. Solford's having quite a word with one of his guys. But Troy. Coach Holford asking his point guards to distribute more. Doesn't like them just putting up shots and running back on defense. Brighty to Brown. Full court press employed by Nassau after the timeout. Aubrey. The pass was too high and it's turned over. Twelve fifty-five to go, Nassau ball. Darren Dove with it. And a turnover. Turner, shot is blocked by Stanley. The other way is Rose with the dunk. 45-42. Full court press again. Six points in a row for the Lions. They have to get it across in 10. Turner. Chris Aubrey to Bridie. Queensboro needs a basket. 10 on the shot clock. They better get into their offense. Turner down to five. Bridie, can he bail them out? The shot is blocked. Bridie, yes! Dwayne Bridie makes it 47 42. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. 
Darren Dove. Alexander to Dove. Dove loses it out of bounds. Queensboro ball with 11.31 to go. Teron Vaughn going in for Queensboro. And Dwayne Brighty will go out. Aubrey. Chris Brown. Turner. Jumper, no good. Chateau. Queensboro ball. Aubrey, bounce pass to Vaughn. Vaughn shot is blocked. Loose ball. Nassau comes up with it. Alexander lays it in. Corey Alexander makes it 47-44. 11 minutes to go. Brown, blocking foul is called against Stanley. With 10.58 to go. Subs in for QCC. Ojugbley and Brighty are in. Chris Aubrey with it. OJ bounce pass. Chateau is fouled in the act of shooting. Chateau at the line for two. First free throw is too strong. There's a second foul on Shamsledon. This is seven fouls on Nassau in the second half as opposed to only two for the Tigers. Chateau trying to split them. He cannot. Nassau can tie. Dove to McCaskill. Some pressure. And a foul is called. Darren Dove will go to the line. And Nolan Emery will go into the game for Queensboro. It's four fouls on Ojugbali. One more and he's done. Two, two. 47 45. Dove looking to cut the lead to one. 47 46. 17 points for Darren Dove. Nassau still pressing. Brighty. To Aubrey. Dove, right up on him. Aubrey, left-handed floater is good. 49-46. Rhodes, it's Nagel burden. Rhodes, long two, no good, nobody boxed out Stanley. It's 49-48, under 10 minutes to play. Emery, righty, got it! Count all three of those, it's 52-48. McCaskill, pressured. Dove, good passing, Stanley. And a foul is called. Blocking foul is called. Five. 
Nolan Emery goes to the bench for the Tigers. McCaskill left alone, and he banks it in. 52-50, 9.25 to go. Aubrey. Aubrey makes his move. Pass to Bridie for three. No good. Nassau ball, looking to tire, take the lead. Darren Dove to Rhodes. No basket, traveling. AJ Winder with, with the word for the ref. Just making a case. 52-50, Tiger ball. Under nine minutes to play. Chateau. Almost traveled. Brown, pressured. Nagelbert is on him. 18 on the shot clock, Aubrey with it. And a foul is called on Nagelbert. Tough one for Nassau. Nagelbert had good positioning, although he did foul him. It's a one and one situation. Two more and they'll be in the double bonus. Chris Brown at the line, one in one situation. Lane violation on Chateau. There will be no free throws taken. The ref explaining it to Coach Holford. And Coach Holford knows it. That three-pointer's for the lead. No good. Nagelbert with the rebound. And Stanley is fouled. And an intentional foul is called. Terrible break for the Tigers. Eight thirty-one to go. Holford just found out it was an intentional foul. Free throw is no good by Stanley. It's two free throws on the ball. Splits the free throws. It's 52-51. With 8.31 to go. Nassau can take the lead. McCaskill for the lead. No good. And Stanley is fouled. And Ojugbui will go into the game for Queensboro with four fouls. No Calculated risk by Coach Holford. Stanley's free throws are to tie and take the lead. You can't just go get the ball. You got a box first. Short. Another short free throw for Stanley. Chris Brown is out for Queensboro. Tie game. 52-52. Queensboro looking to take back the lead. Aubrey. Guarded by Nagelbert. Nice play. Queensboro 54, Nassau 52. Nassau looking entire, take the lead. Dove guarded by Aubrey. 
and a foul by Aubrey. One and one. So far away from the basket. Queensboro can't give away points. One and one situation. Darren Dove has 17 points. Oh. 54-53. Tie game with 7.53 to go. And the press and Turner. Turner, Queensboro leads again, 56-54. McCaskill, Tigers, hands up on defense. Dove, Alexander, Stanley. McCaskill makes his move. McCaskill, tough jumper, gets a friendly roll. 56-56, 30-second timeout by Nassau with 7.19 to go. 30-second timeout. Highly competitive game, home opener for the Tigers. Each team looking for their first win of the year. This is Nassau's first game of the year. Queensboro's fourth, as I mentioned. And we'll see what defense Nassau comes up with after the timeout. McCaskill hit the basket and Winder immediately called for time. Nice bounce pass to Turner. Turner baseline loses it out of bounds to Nassau. Dove guarded by Turner. McCaskill, kick out, Alexander, rebounded by Stanley and he's fouled. They're struggling boxing out, the Tigers are. As the whole Tiger team talks to Holford. Remember the Tigers' first home game last year, they won in overtime, as the ref talks to Holford. That was the fifth foul on Ojugbele, so he's disqualified, so that's why there's the break. OJ fouls out, and Chris Brown is in. Ojugbele finish with, finishes with seven points. Stanley gives Nassau the lead. Fifty-eight, fifty-six, six fifty-two to go. Chris Aubrey with it. Guarded by Alexander. Aubrey. Turner, 
Double teamed. Brown bobbled it. Brown to, for the tie. No good. And Chateau will be called for an over the back foul. Push in the back. Number four on Chateau. Six and a half minutes to play. And more free throws for Nassau. It's Darius Rhodes at the line. It's the first, 59-56. Rhodes has six points. Yeah. 60-56. Aubrey. Chateau underneath with the dunk. Chateau with his first points of the game. And a statement, 60-58. Nassau leading. And then a blocking foul is called on Chateau, and that's his fifth. Chateau is done, that call could have gone either way. As Holford talks to Chris Brown, the ref tells Holford that's number five. With 6.09 to go, Chateau, a game of such highs and lows, a dunk on one end and then he fouls out on the other. You get the free time out after the foul out. <laughs> Nolan Emery will go in for the Tigers. Nassau has 30 points in this half with still 6.09 to go. They had 30 in all of the first half. That free throw is good. 61-58. Hit them both. Lions are knocking down their free throws. 62-58, 6.05 to go. Chris Brown to Turner. Kick out, Bridie, jumper, no good. Brown with a rebound, couldn't hit. Lions ball, Dove, tip, McCaskill. McCaskill can't hit, Tiger ball. Bridie splits the double team. Up ahead to Brown, Brown loses it. Alexander reaching foul is called on Nolan Emery. As Holford talks to Bridie. Alexander is at the line with 5.36 remaining. And Robert Holford is gonna call timeout. Sixty-three fifty-eight. Second one is no good. Out of bounds to QCC. Brown 
Pass was a little behind him. Good pressure by McCaskill, and a double dribble is called. Nessa Bench is pumped up. Welcome to the college ranks, Benny Buckets. I think if Nassau scores here, Holford has to call timeout. Dove. Dove to Stanley. Nice moves by Stanley. The tip in, couldn't put it back. The basket is good. Darius Rhodes makes it 65-58. And Coach Holford calls full timeout with 5.01 to go. The score is Nassau 65, Queensboro 58. Nassau on a 30-13 run. Queensboro led by double digits, 45-35. Seems like such a long time ago. Nassau's up by seven right now. They made sure to keep within striking distance and that's what they did. Queensboro has five minutes and a second to go to rally. Queensboro's gonna need baskets and stops. They can't exchange baskets. Full court press. Bridey, back to Emery. Bridey. And a foul is called with 4.52 remaining. Helps Queensboro take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Free throw is good by Bridie at 65-59. 15 points for number 15. Holford might be a little hesitant to use a full court press because Mohawk Valley shredded it and Bronx Community College shredded it. 65-60, Nassau ball. Here's the full court press. Rhodes to McCaskill to Dove. McCaskill, bounce pass to Dove, they get across half court. Half court trap. Timeout called by Nassau, 4.41 to go. Full timeout taken by A.J. Winder. Holford has two fulls and a 20 remaining, a 30 remaining. You're gonna need to make sure not to foul and they're gonna need to get rebounds. Make sure Nassau's possessions are one and done.
Stanley inbounding. Dove. McCaskill. Alexander to McCaskill, 18 on the shot clock. Rose had to go through his hands. Turner loses it. Nassau, Dove slows it down. I like that decision. They didn't need to force anything there. Heads up played by Darren Dove. McCaskill guarded by Turner. Dove. And a region foul called on Bridey. He contacted Rhodes with 4.13 remaining. The second foul on Bridey as Holford talks to Chris Aubrey and sends him back out into battle. It's game time, Rhodes at the line for two. First one is off. Troy Singleton is in. Dwayne Brighty is out. Rhodes trying to split the free throws. The second one is good. Double digit scoring for Rhodes. 66-60, Brown. Aubrey, guarded by Alexander. Under four minutes to play now, and he loses it. Nassau ball and a foul is called again. Holford wondering where this game went wrong. Still time to make it back up. 3.57, this game isn't over by any means. What's been huge for Nassau, their free throw shooting has been stellar. Get out of and there's another one by Jamal Stanley, who now has 13 points, 67-60. Basket here. Game left. Chris Brown the rebound. Aubrey. Turner guarded by Rhodes. Three pointer. No good. Darren Dove the rebound. And Nassau will run the half court offense. And they'll run the clock a little bit. Turner, loose ball. Duff chases it down. And then, and then a foul is called. Completely unnecessary. And a good call by the refs with 326 remaining in a seven point game. Darren Duff at the line looking for points number 20 and 21. Sixty-eight, sixty. Sixty-nine, sixty. Queensboro is going to have to go, and they're going to have to go soon. Aubrey. And a foul is called on Dove. Exactly the thing you don't want if you're Nassau. Two shot foul. You're up by nine with 3.16 to go. It's really the last thing you need. to make it an eight-point game. Take that away, Troy. 69-61. Nolan! Nolan! Look for the first one. That's it. Take the basket. Move up. You see the first one, then collect the basket. You gotta be a defensive back. Second one is good, 
3.16 and go. Full court press, Queensboro. Dove. Guarded by Brown. Up ahead to Alexander. McCaskill, Alexander. Bounce pass, McCaskill. Over pursued, Dove. Defense is set again. 17 on the shot clock. Dove guarded by Singleton. Dove, corner, three, good. Darren Dove. 72-62, 2.46 to go. Chris Aubrey, 2.35 to go. Turner, loses it. And Holford wants his team to foul. Instead they get the turnover. Turner, can't hit the layup. Dove with it. And see if they foul now. I think they may have to. Holford wants his guys to foul. They're not. McCaskill. And with 2.07 to go, the Tigers commit a foul. Nothing, man. A 37-17 run by Nassau. This game didn't turn on one big play or anything like that. Just a steady stream of free throws and fouls and turnovers and missed shots. Coming in for the first time, number 10, Justin Joseph. That's the contact man, you just see him when the guy's fired. And you jump out and he's on the side, you got two free throws. And Darren Dove misses. 73-62. Two minutes remain. Aubrey. Guarded by Alexander, they have to go. That's a long two, no good. Rebounded by the Lions. Olford needs his guys to foul. And Dove is fouled. With 104 seconds remaining. That's number three on Chris Brown. And Nassau hasn't helped Queensboro by making most of their free throws. Jefferson kept Queensboro in the game because they made 21 out of 43 free throws somehow, missing. Somehow they missed 22. Nassau doing their job at the line. 75-62, 144 to go. Aubrey, Singleton for three. No good. Brown the rebound and the basket. And a timeout by Holford. 75-64 and 93 seconds remaining. Full timeout by Holford. Game's not over yet. This is where coaches may differ. Some coaches would foul right away. I think because they've been making their free throws, they may try to go for a steal. And then after five or 10 seconds, if they don't get the steal, they'll foul. The worst is if you're trying to foul and then the team hits a layup. That's always devastating. Nassau has to make sure not to turn it over. Queensboro will full court press. Stanley inbounding. 
and McCaskill will actually inbound. Alexander, they're not fouling right away. Almost a turnover. Stanley underneath, it's 77-64. 75 seconds to go. Good luck. Missed. Rebounded by Nassau. And a foul is called. 69 seconds to go. And as with many of the games last year, not to sound like an apologist, if the score held up, I don't think it would really be representative of how close the game was. Nassau scored 47 points in the second half. As opposed to 32 for Queensboro. Misses them both. They're gonna have to score, and more importantly, they're gonna have to score fast. Brown has to put it up. Dove the rebound. And we'll see if Queensboro will foul. Holford says no. Dove. Is going to take this clock down. 17 on the shot clock. Nassau nursing a 13 point lead. This will be the last offensive possession for Nassau. Dove, five, lost his footing, and traveling is called with 23 and a half seconds to go. Holford saying no shot. Queensboro is just going to hold it. Nassau will win it 77 64. A 42 19 run to end the game. Nassau wins their season opener. Queensboro loses the home opener. They fall to 0 4 overall.